it's another bright good morning that God has given us. Today I want us to talk about the setback, the fears that we've been having in our lives. You find someone who's so qualified in so many things, but they are just stuck in one position. They can't even take a video like this one and give wisdom because we all have wisdom from this different aspect. You know, you know everything yourself, but you cannot even stand in a gathering and give direction even when you see things are going wrong. So you find most of us are not are not what are not using our full potential. In in a certain book I'm reading by it's called The Grit, yeah? It's called The Grit. Yeah? This book is saying that compared with what we ought to be, we are only half awake. We are my, making use of only a small part of our possible mental and physical resources. So what do I want to say? Have you discovered that any African, when they see that Amzungu has been appointed in a company, they respect that company very much, you know? But when it's a fellow African, you'll hear disparaging remarks. You know, there won't be that full confidence. And it goes on, whether it's in Kenya, whether it's abroad, you know? Kwanini hamtaki kujiamini. You know? So you'll find even some jobs have been advertised, but a capable black man, a capable African, will, will, will hesitate to apply. Today what I want to tell you is that you must drop that fear. Because as Romans is saying, and this has been my verse for the week, you were not born with a slave mentality. You were not born a slave. Yeah? You are, you are a son of God. And you know, sons are there they can sit on the high table and divide whatever is there because they can inherit from their father so that is the mentality that you are supposed to have you're not just an observer you understand you need to stop looking down upon yourself yes try dare dare and do something even dare resign that job if you're not satisfied this week on a certain page on um, on, on, on facebook people were talking about toxic situation in their workplace some guys you are saying that they wake up on Monday morning they feel like they want to die because they don't want to go to that job because it's not fulfilling them yet they go and that's why statistics are saying that actually most most heart attacks happen on Mondays because you are waking up to go and do something that you don't like but you know what if you are waking up to do something that you are confident about and you are out there and giving your best there's nothing that will stop you. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to know that you're in this world for just a short time. And one of the things I want to tell you is this. Nobody will come to count how much money you died with. For example, Bob Corimo died. Nobody is saying this guy was, was worth billions and billions. These guys are just saying the way this guy was there for other people. You know, he was there for artists. You know. He removed guys from the gutter and he gave them hope. You could see him in a matatu. You know, he could he could connect with the common man down there. So this is what I want to tell you Kenyans, especially because this message is mostly for Kenyans. I know most of you respect money so much. When somebody has a big car, even if he makes a crude joke, you will all laugh. Okay, I know. I know even like yesterday during the request mass for Bob Corimo, somebody mentioned uh, whiskey in church and even the pastors were laughing. You know, what I'm telling you is that I know when you are rich, whatever you say, it is top news. But what I want to tell you is this. Money comes and go. But your impact in life, your impact, you, you are a CS, you are a minister, you are a cabinet secretary. Your role is not to go intimidating everybody. Your role is to go and empower that person who's down there. And you can only empower that person if you can go down where he is and be at his level and understand him. It's not about lording over others. So what I wanted to tell you is this. In your deathbed, I'm on your deathbed, I'm even when we look at your grave, what we will remember is the impact you had on society. It's not the money that you corrupted up and down. So wake up today. Do your small bit to lift other people. Be it motivational, be it starting small projects for other people, you know, be it just lifting someone. 
That is what we are going to remember you in your deathbed. It's not the money you have in your pocket. That one will come and go. So, my message to you is this. One, do not fear. Do not be dictated to by the salary you are getting today. Rather, go for the impact. Keep mentoring and motivating others. Please join Motivator Ndongo. My number is 0722 Have a cheerful weekend. Whatever you do, make a difference. Cheers.